So, a friend just showing the arc and asked me for a good tutorial. Then, I realized that the amount of stuff new players need to learn is massive. How to play, how to survive, basic controls, UI stuff, mechanics, all of that. So, I have been thinking about it and jumping on a small drives to record this video with a new character. If you are a new player or a bitch bob, which is how people call the new players in ARK, just keep watching, enjoy the video and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. So if you find this useful at the end, just subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, leave a like, uh, all that good stuff, uh, nothing else boys, let's go to this tutorial. Um, on the character creation, we want to make um, the teeniest possible character. So, to do that, we need to put all these um, sliders down, like at zero, like this, everything, the head, torso, arms, legs, everything. So it will be a, a little boy, but look at this, female, it's even smaller, so you want to go with the female, because it is like um, the male it's bigger so you have more hitbox and it's easier to snipe it or whatever so we go for the female if you want to um, save this preset you can save it here put the name you accept and if you want to load it up later to create another character or uh, just go for the load preset here and you can check I have mine the PvP one and I you see this is weird this is so weird yeah I will leave it like in my preset <laughs> now for the name um, you want to choose human if you are playing uh, on official uh, network like uh, small tribes, artbook, or the um, official actually. Uh, so you don't get recognized by the enemy if you mess up <laughs> in a map. So um, after that, uh, just put West Zone 2 and create it. Another thing you, you need to do is uh, change your Steam name to 1 to 3. You will see why. On the top of the screen, you will see who is joining the server, and if you have um, another name, it will be really, really easy to know if it is you, and if you are online or offline. So, the third things we need to do is to go for the XP node run. Don't uh, make a don't make a, a attach base, a wooden base, uh, whatever shit you do. Just go for the straight for the XP run. So, this is a XP node. If you take it, you will get a XP check. I have only one level to level up. If I take this, I will get that um, arrows, yellow arrows on the right bottom of the screen. Which means I have a double XP on the on the time, and I got thirteen levels. All right, so I will put it on moving speed for now because I want to get more uh, XP notes. So now I will uh, do the XP note run. I I will not uh, record this. I will not put it entirely on the video, but I have another video you can check. Uh, so I will leave it on the description. All right, guys. Now that we have uh, level seventy-five, so as you can see, it's only like I don't know twenty minutes or something, and you are level seventy-five. It's not even worth uh, leveling up without the XP notes. 
like I, I always see people um, on the beach like level 10 doing a base or level 30 it's like come on man do the XP notes uh, so now that we have the levels uh, let's see some uh, basic controls so it's getting dark on the island right now so the best thing you can do for these cases is not firing up a torch because you will be a human target <laughs> if is the island is uh at night the fire is like uh, a light in the middle of the night so you don't want that but if you press tab it will open the console and you can type Gamma 5 You see it increased the gamma of the game To put it uh, as default again just put gamma And it will be default again But you can put um, like 3 or 4 But I think the max number is 5 If I put 6 it's not working yeah it's fine well now that we uh, create light in the middle of the night let's start with another stuff uh, as I think you just figure that you can run with shift <laughs> but with C you can crouch and we get X you can uh, Put your body on the ground and space is jump as most of the games and other stuff you can do is press escape go options this is my settings but this is the advanced settings but on this one on keyboard you can uh, see all the stuff all right the whistle, um, all the movement ones, um, a lot of stuff. Like, for example, that with the wheel mouse, you can change the um, between third and first person view. Just with the, um, with the wheel on the mouse. All right. Then, if you press... I you check the inventory all right if you want to open someone's inventory like some dying inventory just press F look you can pick up your poop wow <laughs> crazy game right well um, with V you have your craftables, right? I have all of this for now. But if you level up, you saw this view, right? And you close it. So this is the Ingram uh, learner. You have all this stuff till level 75, this which I am right now. So you can just learn it. You have all these points. Uh, you can spend points like it says free it will be three points all right I will learn some basic stuff for now narcotics uh, modern pestle spark powder the bed spy glass cooking pot the wooden club bowler stone arrow the bow um, what else what else do you need? Oh, the hide um, armor. I need it. The gunpowder. What else? I will need the smithy, forge, metal uh, stuff, parachutes, trunk arrows. Um, some stone um, stuff 
crossbow. And I think that's it that we need. No, we need Iguana on saddle. Because you have two options to tame at this level. You can go for a Parasaur. Parasaur or a Iguanodon. We are going for the Iguanodon because it is um, better for um, PvP. At least you can run faster if someone is against you. So, to do that, we need to start farming. First thing we need to do is to uh, get a pick. We have the stone, need thatch and wood. So, start punching the trees like this and you will get the resources all right getting a pick once I get a pick I will get an axe what I need for the next flint and thatch so let's make it this flint and this thatch and I create a hatchet well the resource in this game is like you have uh, two main uh, sources like the pick and the hatchet. So it was something like this. If you go on a tree, if you get with pick, you will get thatch. If you get it with the hatchet, you will get more wood than thatch. All right. On the stones, if you go with a pick, you will get flint. But if you go with a hatchet, you will uh, get stone. To pick up um, berries and um, fiber, just press E on the um, on the bushes. Keep pressing it, and you will get the stuff. You can pick up um, stones with E as well. Alright. So that's that's a nice weather island. That is a nice weather for a tutorial. Um, and the last one is for dinosaurs. For corpses. If you do go with the with the pig you will get meat but if you go with the hatchet you will get hide so that is pretty much everything look at these boys I will put this and you will see what I was talking about I will put the gamma normal gamma we'll see you can see a shit but you can see this if someone is uh flying around it would see it and we will be dead but at some point we need to get this just cook meat just make this uh campfire uh put wood and um meat inside doesn't matter if it's fish or um dinosaur but just turn it on and we'll start doing some uh cook meat which give you a little bit of hp and um you know you need the food to keep it up or you got starving so now we need to go for um to tame our first dinosaur so I will prepare a bow um, I will prepare some bolas I will farm some hide and I will see you after the farming so I throw it up everything I don't need I craft some um, high armor that you can equip with E So, yeah. Oh, you can enter this uh, camera mode with K. Right? So, you can check stuff. You can check under the map if you want. 
if useful to check inside caves if there is storage inside you can do it with that so i found this iguanodon that i want to tame but i don't know if i it will be possible with the club i will just put the bola and try it just make some bolas try it and start clubbing like this i don't know it's low level so it should be close at least but i don't know actually oh come on come on go sleep it totally worked with the parasaur but i want an iguana then <gasps> it's not working but it's running, it means that there is almost sleeping. Oh, alright, it's sleeping. Nice. Alright, okay, that unconscious bar, it's the torpor. You can enter the inventory with E, but I press F, because uh, you can do it with F when you are mounting it, you can do it with F. So, this torpor bar is the same as that uh, purple one. So this Iguanodon is uh, very tame, so I want to put uh, major berries, the purple ones. I would tame the Iguanodon, because the first uh, tame you need is a berry farmer. Because you want to make uh, narcotics to tame a uh, better dino later. And as you can see, I pick up like only 68, 10 more, but hand picking berries is stressful. <laughs> you need a, a, a berry farmer. If you want to go for a parasaur, it's okay, but I recommend you go for the iguanodon. All right. I get, I got no major berries. Well, I will put normal ones. I, I don't care. This is level 15. It should be fine. Try to get, yeah, I got 20. Nice. This one is better than the other one. So, uh, this iguana, it will try to eat uh, the better quality ones that you put, see? He did it all right now we need to um do it the saddle what do we need wood we need wood and we are set so wood craft it just uh press b go to the craftables press e on the one that you want if you want to for example if i'm doing uh, arrows and i want to do uh all that I can I will just press A instead see like if you uh, right click on it, it says craft one with E craft all with A on craft amount you can put I don't know two press OK and you will craft two all right it's not that hard it's really really simple so now I need to wait for that in the meantime I want to do a foundation and I already have my modern pestle and I want to do narcotics which uh, will we allow me to do a uh, trunk arrows which is another way to tame so what you want to do now is uh, do the foundation and in the meantime I need to spoil this the raw meat it says 2 minutes 30 seconds to spoil but if I do it on the stack it will spoil only one so you can actually put uh, right click split stack split all I only put in one I one. So after this uh, two minutes and twenty and twenty seconds, it's off. 
uh, all this stuff will spoil. Not only the one, um, not only one, just the wall stack. So split all, and we had a huge amount of um, spoiled meat. Which we need for the narcotics, you know. So, foundation. I will place the foundation because the mortar and pestle need a foundation to be placed. Just because of that. So, mortar and pestle. And let's put these narcoveries. As you can see on drags, these narcotics with uh, narco berries and spoiled meat so we need the spoiled meat and this will give us the narco berries we want oh I go on and on we'll say narco berry that will be the name so after you wake up uh, it is following you alright you can press U and it was wow that was lag and I don't know what is the default um, letter for that, but I have the on the J. I have to change it for passive. Another thing you can do is press, uh, keep pressing E on this one, and you have the options harvest behavior on behavior. You can change it here or stance. All right. Uh, you can uh, disable I like looking because I hate it, but you have all this stuff, all right? Just read it and that's it. Uh, to open the inventory, you can press F, all right? And as you can see, you have all that I need to tame, and you can press E to equip the saddle. And now I have this little farmer all right let's start farming the bushes it got me uh 40 narco berries in one bush that was 10 so keep farming it we need ton of it And this, uh, the iguana don't will level up with XP. We will keep whatever we want and we throw up the others. And we need to level up and wait, which is what I need for now. It's just only a berry farmer, alright? It's not a PvP tame. We are not going to PvP with this. I mean, yes, we can, but we want to rush for a PT, actually. So, now that we have um, the narcotics, narco berries, and this is spoiled, so I will put, start doing it. 53. And I have more, wow. <laughs> Alright, I can do way more of that i just need to farm more berries so guys now i craft some narcotics i have it on me and i'm crafting this trunk arrows it need narcotics and stone arrow so i craft him some i gonna tame uh this one there, there was a pt right there i don't know what is it now I can see the shadow, but I can Oh, that's why. I want to tame that. To doing it, I need to uh, replace my arrows for this one. So I need to drag and drop on my um, bow. You see the stone is green. It's because it's trunk. So I will put a bola on it. And I will aim from the head. Alright. These arrows. On the bow. On, on the crossbow. On whatever. It makes torpor. Initial torpor. Then uh, it keep uh, going high. 
in four seconds after that. That's why you need to hit and wait four seconds to hit the next one. Alright? If not, you will hit it, probably. You will hit uh, when the... Um, when the dino is already sleeping. And that will give you um, a little penalty. Because taming on this game is about the taming effectiveness. If you taming it and you punch it on someone hit it, your team is fucked up. I will show you now. Uh, PT is... Um, Carnivore, so we need uh, meat. We can take it with this one, which is the worst uh, meat on the game. But we can uh, also kill, uh, for example, that Archie. Have we be able to kill that? I don't know, to be fair. It is stuck. If it is stuck, maybe. Which level it is? Level 20. The Archie and other uh, predators have um, prime meat, which is uh, a better quality of meat. Oh, it's coming for me. And the best one is the mutton, which is uh, you can find some uh, ovies here, some ships, but. It's really difficult to find it on the island. It's really easy to find on Ragnarok. So if you had Ragnarok map, you can just go there, spawn it, and uh, try, try it back to the island. Or just keep, keep yourself on Ragnarok. But Ragnarok is way more populated. If you are new at the game, you will be uh, hard times on Ragnarok. Alright, it's almost dead. He's almost dead. Nice. Well, with the pick now, let's see if I can get some uh, prime meat. Oh, come on. Give me one. Give me one. No, it didn't give me the prime meat. Shit. Alright. But I got a ton of me. So I can time it with that or just try again with another one. Stegus also give it. Let's check the level. I don't want to waste. So many arrows. Level 10, this is gonna work. What's running? Oh, now it's coming for me. It's not. The hell? Some dinos have a multiplier on damage. A stego have it on the head. You hit on the head, it's like three times damage or something like that. But somehow this fucker is not going for me. It's just running, which is weird. So I can't hit on the head. Usually, the Stego comes for you, straight for you, so you can hit on the head because he's looking at you. But now, this uh, weird guy is going another side for some bloody reason. Yeah, I don't know how, but... Oh, finally. Alright. 
Time to farm it. Getting hide. Oh, the Archie's coming. You know, the Archies are... Um, I don't know what is the... The word for that, but... They uh, love the bodies. <laughs> the corpses. Ah, oh, I didn't check the level on this one, so I'm gonna run. Archie is a powerful team, man. Don't mess up with the Archies. Oh, look at this one. This little boy. We give us Kaiden. The Kaiden is what we need for... Um... Go away, fucking Archie. Is the, the the thing that we need. Oh, look. Look, that's a guy. That's a guy on, on the Archie. Let's hide here. Just for a second. He's not coming for us. Our PT. What is your PT? <gasps> what is it? It was something like like here. What is it? Oh, nice. He's here. All right. Torpor is almost at half, so we probably need to feed him uh, narco berries to keep it up. Uh, to do that. I guess I have some narcotic. No, I have only one. Um, whoa! That was <laughs> the Diplo. <laughs> he punched you. The the um, Diplo only wants to play. It's like, oh, well, let's go play. Come. And it's actually uh, throwing you away like this. And it's not giving any damage, but if you are uh, in the border <laughs> of the cliff, you will get fucked up. Alright, I have the stuff now. I have the nar narco berries, I will give it, and I need to give it with E. need to press it to make it eat it. And the turbo will start going up. See? 88, 81, 83, that's fine. So, food is going down. For each of these raw meat, the PT is like, I don't know, maybe it's 50, I don't remember actually, but it's like you need to give it some uh, food first, then put the meat. Because I don't know why, but if you put the meat uh, at the beginning, there is always some uh, fucking carnivore trying to uh, hit it. But if you don't put the meat and wait for the end till uh, he was um, he's angry, it will be a faster team. Oh, I'm hungry too. I can see the level of that one. So, another thing about taming. As you can see, now we have put the food, it will start eating. So, it have 98 uh, taming effectiveness, right? <gasps> Dilophosaur! Fucking shit! Oh man, bloody Dilophosaur. They ruined my team. See? The PT was fine. Was actually fine, but when I put the meat, these bastards just come for. Oh shit. Oh, and I need to remove this because there was the Archie. Yeah, and the Archie will come and I will also hit that. <laughs> Alright. As you can see now, the taming effectiveness is 42%. Why? Because he got hit by the Dilophosaur. When a, a dinosaur gets hit, it will... Um, 
go down with the taming effectiveness. At 100% effectiveness, the tame will get half of the white levels after tame. Like, if this is level 80, it will get 40 levels, extra levels after tame. But now, that is only 42%, it will get 17, right? On different foods will give you more effectiveness or less. For example, this meat, I uh, will give me a, a shit effectiveness. But if I tame it with mutton or, um, or kibble, which is like uh, a crafted food, that you can do a uh, base it on um, from the dinosaur eggs, it will give a hundred percent. So let's gonna wait for this one. So I killed the scorpion. I killed the scorpion. I already killed a trilobite um, for the kiting. I now this uh, scorpion. You can bolt it, and you get kiting. You no. Know? So now. I need a PT saddle. Now we go here. We just got a uh, uh, P Tradon T. Now V and here have all the stuff. I uh, we craft it and it shouldn't be so long. It should be close already. Let's see. Seventy-five percent torpor is going down. I need to give more na narco berries, maybe. So keep in mind, this guide is for um, island players. Like, if you don't have another map, because just download the island, or uh, you're just trying the game, or whatever. And you don't have Ragnarok or Crystallize on any other of the free maps. This guy is for you. If not, maybe it worth uh, going for uh, a Crystal Wyvern instead of uh, the Tyrannodon. Or even uh, Taming PTs on Ragnarok. Because you have the mountain on that. So, yeah. This guy is, is for island players. Let's keep it sleeping, boys. Let's give uh, all these uh, narco berries, and I guess we will be fine. That's why you need a <laughs> an iguana. Then taking all that berries by hand, it's a pain. Right, I have the saddle already. Uh, we just need to wait for it. Look, it is again that archy guy. He probably has a raft on that direction on the sea. I will check it with the PT when it's done. Maybe he has a raft. I can get some stuff from. All right, boys, the PT is done. Remember to uh, whistle follow and um, let's drop this. Oh, shit. I don't have enough weight for me. Uh, I will drop this. So I don't need it anymore for this tutorial. Uh, it's enough. Getting this PT is enough. So, I will put uh, my stuff on here. Or, oh, no, actually, don't. I will go level up this boy a little bit. How? Taking the notes. There is more notes that, I, uh, that we take for leveling. Oh, this stamina is shit. <laughs> it's real shit. I need to get to a note fast. I need to level up. 
Wait. Right. Let's go. It's getting night again. It's the second night on the island. If you press K you will get the free mode so you can actually check if someone is chasing you you're pressing K or if you are gonna land somewhere to regain stamina just press K and you will see if someone is going to pick you or something like that a level nice gamma 5 Allosaurus. Well, the things you can do with this is like, hey, come for me, and they will fall. Like this. So, you need to avoid conflict. Don't fight with PT because it is trash. At least a tame one is trash. If you breed it, it's, it's different. But... Alright. Oh, I got a level up. On the character and let's see on the PT sometimes it lags a bit and it takes time like that right all right let's give it some levels this is crystal that I need 10 crystals nice that's all I need because uh, I need to craft this spike glass Spyglass is um, a tool to check uh, dino levels, uh, character level, um, character names, tribe names, all from the safety of distance. <laughs> so if I come like this and check, for example, that Stego, I press 9 and I can see it. It's a male Stego level 20, right? If I point it on uh, structures, I can check the name, the owner, the HP on the structures. All right, let's go for another XP node. I need stamina now. Let's see scrap. Well, it, it actually was a level crap PT. Was only level 80 and it got hit but when uh, taming it, so. I wasn't expecting too much, to be fair. There's another XP node over here. Oh, there is more crystal. Here. You need to be careful with uh, this ice biome because if you look at my HP, it's going down. See, my HP on the um, right bottom corner of the screen is going down because I'm freezing. That ice cube says I'm freezing. Same uh, happens with um, with the heat on on some uh, heat parts like the volcano or some stuff like that. It is the same. All right, let's see. Wow, wow, that's weird. Um, the guy was like over here with his harshy. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, that's the border. It's not here. Maybe it's more like on this side. If you run out of stamina here, you can just uh, go really close to the water and drop. All right. It will get some stamina over time. It will 
generate some stamina and you can uh, mount it again. Right? This is the border, the war border. You can go further. No, that's weird. Maybe this guy is living on the underwater cave. Island have some underwater caves. So yeah, maybe. Oh no, no, I found it, found it. Look. Red eyes TM. Archie's there. But it doesn't look like a base. Archie, what? Guys, he's there. He's sleeping. She lo logs off. He logs off. Right. Oh, this compost, dude. Oh, look. Look, boys. Easy flag. <laughs> Easy flag. I will uh, take the flag. Uh, I. Why not? I will give him my hide. Oh. Thanks, dude. Alright. Uh, all this shit is compost. It's only for um, doing uh, fertilizer. Which is weird. I know why he needs so much fertilizer. He has no bed. Really? He has no bed. Oh, I will not kill it. Let's see if the Archie is on passive. <gasps> Archie is passive. Maybe he has some loot inside. Because he has no structures. So I need to kill it. Sorry mate, but... Oh, this is weird. Why can't he hit it? Well, I we need to do it with uh with the bow because this is messy. All right, let's kill it. Oh, finally! Oh, look at this, boys! We have metal pick, metal hatchet. Let's throw this, and we have some hide, um, metal wool, wow, oh crossbow, this, this word for taming, this is word for taming, well, actually, we got loot boys, oh man, nice, now, it's time for, uh, building up a little base, um, you just figured out that you don't need to build up on a raft, you know? <laughs> so, something I did forget, that I always forgot, actually, is to create a tribe. So, at level 1, before everything, you need to press L and create a tribe. Tribe is human, put the name you want and create. Then... You will see the tribe members and the log. This is the most important stuff. The log. If one of your teams got a kill, it will say on the log. The name who killed it. Um for example, I don't need this anymore because I have the PT and stuff, so um let's kill it. And you will see what I'm talking about. Alright, 
on the log it says your Nakaveri level 27 a Guanadon was killed by human tribe of human one which is my tribe and your tribe killed Nakaveri Guanadon tribe of human like this is double log because it's me killing my stuff but it's not like that you, you will get one message or another depends on what you're doing so now it's time for the base um this ton of people building up on the island like uh people who is uh trying to learn how to play but the mistake is building on the beach this is the first place everyone's go for pvp like literally it's like even people uh with uh ascend characters go for uh clap bobs on the beach so if you are on the beach with a touch hood or a wooden hood and you will probably get griefed by a mana garm or stuff like that because people is trash in the game it is that community but it is what it is so the best option you have is instead of building up on the beach like that just go a bit up on the island if you check your map press M and chase your view to check the map right uh, your map if you are new in the game, your map is probably not revealed like mine. So you will need to explore. So if you check on the on the view on when you die and you need to spawn, you will see the um, all the spawns are like um, on the beach, all around the island. So if you go on the middle like this at least uh, you will not get that grief you will get grief for sure because the map is trash at least for building up and I mean it's a beautiful map I love it it's, it's one of my favorites but as everyone is trying to learn how to play on this one there is l a lot of griefers really so Let's get some more XP nodes for the PT. I need to get some more stamina. Yeah. Nice. Um, so if you go something like, for example, this forest over here, this is a volcano. You will get um, a really cool uh, spot actually for uh, at least for learning not for a bigger base just for learning because uh the the thing you need to to understand now that that you can't be alpha if you are just trying to learn the game you can't be alpha and and it's not a big deal you, you just don't uh exit it about it just play the game enjoy it all right um, this looks like a good spot down here. Yeah, here. I will make me my base here. So, uh, good things about resource is you need to know where to find it. Um, you can check the wiki. All right. So, oh, these little bastards are everywhere. You can check the wiki to to see where to get um, resource, but it's something like metal on the mountains. There is always metal on the mountains here on the island. Um, trees for wood are everywhere, literally everywhere. Not on the beach, but this this is metal. This is metal. I don't know why it looks like gold, but it's metal. This resort over here is obsidian, this one. 
So you need to know the resources, where to find it, what do you need for your uh, ingrams, and you will be fine. So let's say uh, we are going to build up close to this spot because we have a tone of metal. But keep in mind that people want to farm metal, so it's not hiding enough. You need to go on the bushes. Oh, look at this. This is a drop. It's like um, a bacon that falls from the sky. Spoiler alert. I will not spoil a shit, actually. <laughs> Just go finish the game and you will see why they are spawning. If you uh, do the the boss here on the island, the final one, the overseer, you will see it. You will see the war from, from the top. Yeah, boys. It's actually pretty nice. I have a video about it, but don't spoil yourself. Go do it. So, I'm getting some uh, more notes before setting up, but we can set up, like, these dark spots are amazing, like this, it's amazing. You just need to be sure to uh, don't um, farm the all the stuff on the way of this. Because if you farm the the stones and and the woods and you place a foundation, it will not respawn. So, for example, here we can set it up here. Now I will farm it like an, another distance, like here. You know, at the distance is okay. It will respawn. So let's farm to make a base. I will need like uh, two foundations, five walls, um, two sailings, a door. I will need after that. I will need uh, two forges, uh, two modern pistols, and one smithy. Yeah. It will take a time. Oh look, I found a base with the same idea. Sigh. Uh, we make the foundations, I'm heavy as fuck. Let's see. Wow, that's weird. Looks like rated, yeah, it's rated. But I want to say you that if you build up like on these spots, like dark spots, it will be uh, much better than in the beach. Doesn't matter if that base got raided. It probably if you build up on the beach it will get raided like every day. So maybe. I will um, create some stuff and I will go place it in another spot. But you know, you can also um, look around the zone to see if there is some uh, raided bases. Like if people know the spot. Actually not that, uh, that far from where the XP node ends. That's why. I'm almost done with the base. With the prefab base. Oh, Kangaroo is a really good tame, but... I don't know. I will not tame it. But it's funny. Alright. 2, 2, 1, 1, 5. 
Now I'm going for the forges. Nice. These tools are amazing. Thank you, Raftman. It's really, really cool. Without these tools, I would need to farm like, I don't know, 30 minutes. I, I'm doing it like in 5 minutes. Which is amazing. It should be all. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, I'm gonna drop this. And let's see if your or PT can do it. Oh, it's not fucking PT. All right, let's throw up some stuff like this. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not going to work. Need we throw up this? Yeah. Sacrifice for the win, boys. It's only arrow. With this, uh, <laughs> with this current uh, tools, I can make a million arrows. Well, this looks good spot, like other ones. So. I will place the foundation like this. We place it here. All right, two foundations. Now let's go with the walls. Five, All right? I will put a forge on this side, like this. And I need to put one more on the side. Yeah, like this. Mortar and pestle. Can put two of them. Nice. Sailings. And the door. And that's pretty much everything. Now we need uh we need to farm some metal to make a smithy. So we go up here. That's why I wanted to build up here, because the metal it's so close. That's obsidian, but on a platform on that. There is a platform on there. And there is a PT. Oh, it's a turret, it's not a PT. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, here. If you will build up on these uh, spots and you come here with, uh, let's say, an Anki or an Archie, uh, you will get so much metal. All right, that's too much. Uh, that's too much as well. All right, that's perfect. Now, you need to find your base. <laughs> this is the most difficult part of this. It was like on this path. Yeah, that nice. So now I will put this um, this one. I I need to put uh, some wood. So instead of farming that trees, I need to go like all the way <gasps> to here. I will need to climb up. That's not good. And I can hear a Rex. 
Alright. Oh shit! So let's put this on melting and let's lure the Rex away. Like this, he will fall. I mean, if I go inside the base, the Rex can't uh, break the stone bases. Almost. Uh, no dinos can do it, it's just uh, Giga and Arthropoda, but any other is not damaging the stone. But if I do that, the PG will gonna be dead, because <laughs> he will eat it. So, now, I need to wait for 5 of this uh, metal, and I need to craft the smithy. I need stone and wood that I need to get in the meantime. So let's go for the and let's craft it. Like 50 and 20 or something like that. Like this and this one. And that's it. Let's get some more. One more, and it's done. Another stuff is like this one and this, the campfire. Also, when it when it's burning, metal or cooking or whatever, it just charcoal, which it's needed to do gunpowder. All right. I craft the smithy, and I will place it on that. like this all right we have the smithy boys i can place more model bester here so on the smithy i can craft the metal stuff the crossbow and if you yeah, go search here i can craft the armor i have on me right now the flag Flag set. All right, there is some other stuff like grenades, premium grenades. Um, you would see you you can just uh, look on this um, list and check whatever you want. I'm just saying uh, what is more important. Uh, bullets, a pistol, um, a long neck, scope, and, well, this is saddles, ankylo saddle, doity saddles, is for farming, dino farmings, but one of the other important stuff is the metal structures, you can do it on it, if you want to upgrade your base, but for now, you just need only this and maybe you want darts you can do it as well for darts it's like you can um, um, tame dinos even better than the crossbow like you can put it on sleep really really fast so now we have the base done uh, let's check this you can check what you need to, to do, just put the mouse on it, and it says one charcoal, one spark powder. And um, for spark powder, you need um, a stone and flint. So if I put a stone and flint, I can do it, right? He's doing it, he, and if I put the charcoal on it, this one, I can do, see? the gunpowder and 
the gunpowder I can do um, if I mix it with um, more metal if I go here weapons ammo I can do bullets for example simple bullets for a pistol that you can craft some firearms pistol just need to find metal and stuff so guys that's pretty much everything you need to know now so what is next just be prepared go for pvp like i will uh now i will go try to um make a huge round on the island to see if there is people that i can uh pvp on it let's see oh i think that i just forgot on the base is you need to place a bed if you don't place a bed uh you will can't you can't respawn at the bed on on the base so you need bed like free at least it's like uh this bed simple bed yeah just put like three or four and you will be fine well i found a red drop i'm waiting uh to land it and i will show you guys what a drop is you usually have a level requirement i don't remember the red drop one i hope it's not 80 because i'm 77 let's see I can open it, yeah. I always see I have a uh... oh nice. Oh, this one is is a good blueprint at least for now. Is your Allosaur blueprint? I don't need it right now because I'm just messing around. But Woolly Rhino is a good one, and this crap. This is well. If you take all the stuff from in, it will despawn. a woolly rhino but see it's uh things with uh quality you know if you craft the um if you craft um saddle it usually is 20 or 25 armor on it so saddles um from drops and uh genesis missions or whatever other shit it will give you better saddles, like not prim. There is uh, quality items here. For example, I have Mastercraft Metal Pick. That's why it have 200 damage, weapon damage, and more Dura than I, 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 another one. For example, Metal Pick. Metal Pick is. 100% damage and 40 dura durability and I have 200% damage and 141 durability which is way more than the other one so <gasps> look look at this boy on that this never fly on it just go away don't fly too close on that or you will get ripped it will unmount you and it will kill you there's another other option uh look there is more here someone make wow i thought it was a crocodile all right Let's see this base. Look, this base is uh, hidden because it's in the swamp. It's not raided. It's damaged a bit, but it's not raided. Let's see if we can find uh, people. Look, guys, there is a naked boy on that. <laughs> there is a new play on that. What is he doing? He's farming some stuff. Uh, 
let's see. I will teach you the PT skills now. With the left click, it attacks, right? With the right click, it pick up things like this. Hello, man. Hello, man. I can give it all the day because I I have no no wait for the have some stuff on it. So if you press right click again, you can drop it, <laughs> and if enough uh, distance from the ground, it uh, dies. Look, that's his inventory. You can access with F, but see, it's a level eight guy. What the hell, a level eight guy is farming? Why is not doing the XP note and being like level seventy-five in five minutes? It has no sense. Uh, he was probably using this stuff inside. Yeah, probably. Yeah. If you check all this stuff, you can get some, uh, some shit that you need. Just take it and run. Another control with the um, with the PT is pressing C. The C is the C spin. It's like this. But check out your stamina on the right top of the screen you have the um, the dinosaur stats so check out the stamina because it uh, it needs a lot of stamina to do it another xp node and let's go if i can find another uh guy or something i will give away my stuff because i'm not uh I'm gonna not gonna play it's just I'm just showing the small tries with a new character to show you guys how to play it um, how to enjoy the arc on the very beginning when you just download it and you know nothing about the game so guys that is pretty much everything you need to know for a day one on the island uh, what you want to do next is uh, maybe upgrade to an Archie instead of this weird stuff. Uh, just go for an Archie or uh, a Tappy or another team, Flame team. Uh, if you want to keep farming, just you can tame a Ankylo on Andoedi, a Casteroid or whatever. Uh, but as I said, uh, you want to keep looking on the wiki to do that stuff, you know, like um, if you need uh, taming for taming, you can check uh, Dodo Dex, which is an app that is working really, really good. Um, so it will say how much uh, meat you need for an Archie, for example. Oh, this boy. Yeah. Check the wiki, check all the stuff there, and just enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy the game, boys. Stop punching me, you fucker! Do you want my PT? Let's see. Don't go down, don't go down. What did it say? Try name. Uh, do you want the PT? You know you can talk pressing B, right? Just press B. Sorry about that. I can hear you.
You can't hear me or you can't. I can't. And how how you know I say that if you can't? Wow, imagine. I'm sorry, but I installed this game today. Yeah, that's perfect. I will give you my kit if you want. Nah. Really? You don't want it? It's yours. Don't no, I, I, I'm, I'm leaving. I, I'm just, I, I was here, uh, just recording a tutorial for uh, people who just start playing, and now I'm leaving. Actually, you will be on the video. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, just look, uh, just a Viking on YouTube. Take the back on it here. Nice YouTube channel. Thank you. I should remember I, I can't unclaim here on the fucking uh, small tries, but you can get the stuff and I I will put you down there with a pity. <laughs> Are you really sure you wanna give it to me? Yeah, I can't give you the PT because I can't unclaim it. But you can get all the stuff. Uh, I will put you back uh, on on the ground. Hold on. Nice flag, mate. Okay, oh, look, uh, the, look that raft. You check that raft. Here. Here, here. On that raft, there is a body on it. You can check it. Maybe you can get some stuff. Nice, Bob. You will be a great man. You will be a great warrior. Oh. He knows how to go up that, right? Oh. I send it to his death. Rip. 